Many of you may think, gosh, Manish, you know, yeah, none of the stuff that I'm doing is working. You know, I tried social media and it's just not going my way. Or, you know, I used to post on Instagram and, you know, do Facebook and I'm just not getting any traction around that. Look, we all know, and we've all been there. And social is a big challenge for everybody because not everybody, no one has the time to start posting content, start doing all that stuff, especially when they're seeing patients, right? But here's the key. Here's the key. We are all in the same boat. We all see patients. We all have them come in uh, for procedures, but we're leaving a lot of impact and stuff on the table if we're not capturing those things and talking about them and displaying them and educating our local patient base around what we can do if we're just not doing that stuff. So my kind of call to action for you, my challenge for you is to say, okay, you know, what have I been doing in my practice for so long? And, you know, what are the results that I've gotten from it? And you'll find that, you know, I've been doing this stuff and here I am. And these are the results. And you'll find that your results are probably not where you want them to be considering you're doing all this other stuff. Or maybe you're like, Hey, I'm, I'm not doing any of that stuff. I'm literally just getting started with this. I'm new to this. And I really want to get more patients in or get patients to start treatment. You know, how do I start? Right. And I really urge you as we go through things here today is to pick one or two specific tactics that we've gone over and just start utilizing those. So what are two things? It doesn't have to be a bunch of things that you pick. You just pick one or two things, start utilizing those things, and then you dig deep and you just kind of grind on those things, which essentially just means that you do those things repetitively and you're out there consistently because building a brand is not a one-off type thing, right? It's not like you do this one time and then you disappear. Any platform that you disappear on doesn't work for you. Remember that. Any platform that you disappear on will not work for you and doesn't work for you. And also remember that as soon as you engage and you start on a platform, it's not going to work overnight, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, nothing's going to work overnight. The, the real key is to go from, hey, trying to get patients in to send, then saying, oh, I'm building a brand around this. They're getting to know different layers of who I am as a clinician, different layers of my practice. They're getting to know different attributes or different benefits of who we are, what we do, and how we can serve them, right? And social, as much as I'm saying who we are, remember, it's all about them, your audience, your patient base. What are they seeking from what you are creating, right? So if you're putting out content and it's all about you and it's not about them, then it's like of no use to them and it's not going to work. And you got to look at the content and be like, okay, what was the purpose of this video? What was the purpose of this, you know, picture? You may say, hey, Renesh, oh yeah, this is cool because we had a patient come, came, come in and this is how their case finished up. And that was the purpose of it to show them this. Well, are you clear in your messaging on what you want? Do you have an effective hook? In that messaging. And usually I, I tell you always that the hook starts with the pain point, right? What are they struggling with? You know, are you sick and tired of having, feeling your tongue between your two teeth? You know, are you sick and tired of just feeling like your denture is going to pop off or you can't chew the foods that you want? Are you digging into the pain points? Those are the hooks that grab their attention. And as soon as you got that hook, then you start storytelling. And for us, storytelling is just exemplifying the patient's transformations that we've seen in our practice, right? So the hook is simply like, hey, what's the pain point? Let's be very clear about it. And then we transition into like, hey, here's what's worked here in our office. Or let me share this exciting transformation with you, with Debbie, who came into our practice. And she started off and she had four crowns that were done 30 years ago. And she's always looked at her pictures and wanted those replaced or wanted her smile brighter and wanted to feel more confident. And then you show the end result, right? So the hook is the pain point. Then the transformation is the story around what you've done, the procedure. 
And then the call to action or the action, call it like the hook, the story, and then the action point. The action point is essentially, hey, what's the next step, right? So I want you to always be thinking in those frames. Like that's a great framework, hook, story, action. We've also heard of hook, story, offer, right? But essentially it's those three things with any piece of content you put out, any post you put out, what's the hook? What are we, how are we going to get their attention? It's a video. How are we going to get their attention? I mean, just putting up a video and it's just kind of like, they don't know why they're watching it and there's no clarity around there. Well, that's not good either, right?